The president and first lady joined people across the country, mourning the loss of 11 people murdered inside a Pittsburgh synagogue. Thanks for staying with KXLY. This is Nightside. I'm Aaron Luna. Tonight in Spokane, a woman who survived the Holocaust offered prayers for the lives taken during that act of hate and shared her story of what happens when that type of hate goes unchecked. Marion Blumenthal Lazan survived the unimaginable conditions at age 10. She was living in a concentration camp surrounded by death and constant fear. New on Nightside, Kyle Simchuk takes us inside tonight's powerful presentation. Kyle, a lot of people inside the convention center for this, also a lot of security. Yeah, the event started late because the security lines were so long. Several Spokane police officers guarded the event both inside and out. Jewish communities around the country are on alert, but tonight one rabbi says those followers are proving their resilience. Marion Blumenthal Lazan remembers holding her breath not knowing if water or gas would come out of the shower faucet. The constant foul odor, the filth, continuous horror and fear surrounded by death is indescribable. There is no way that this can be put accurately into words or pictures. Tonight, the Holocaust survivor shared her horrifying story, one that millions of Jewish followers never lived to tell. The Nazis did their utmost to break us physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Unfortunately, they did succeed with many of our people. Marion travels the country giving speeches, but tonight was different. A group of Jews got together in their synagogue, celebrating life, the birth of the baby, and a coward came in with the aim to kill all Jews. Before Marion opened up, people read prayers and the names of the 11 innocent lives that were taken in Pittsburgh over the weekend. I was very upset. I did shed tears. Um, and I'm still shedding tears. Um, I'm still upset. 11 candles were lit, and they glowed behind Marion throughout her testimony. Toward the end, she made one simple request. Be kind and good and respectful towards one another. Place. It is such a simple message and yet so difficult to achieve. Reporting in Spokane, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY, Four Nightside.